Hey everyone, welcome to Bluebeam's tutorial video on the markups list. In this video, I will be showing you the basics of the markups list, including how it works, the default and custom columns, sorting and filtering options, and the various markup summaries you can create. In this video, I will be working in the standard profile. To change your profile, click the arrow next to the man with the bow tie. In the standard profile, the markups list is located in the bottom panel. It records all markups made on a PDF and saves information along with the markups, subject, page number, etc. If you click on a markup in this list, the screen will jump to its location on the PDF. The markups list categorizes markups by subject, usually the type of markup, page, locked or not locked, status, check mark, author, date, primary color, and comments. You can choose to sort your markup list by one of these categories in ascending or descending order by clicking the category title. You can also edit a markup's properties from the markup's list. I can lock them or change their status, author, subject, or comment. For the markups that have text areas, the comment is usually the text itself. If I change the comment for this markup, I am changing the text in that markup. Or I can right-click markups in the markups list to edit various properties. You will see also that some of these fields show up in the properties panel as well. I can also select several markups by holding down the shift key as I select them, and then I can change certain properties for all of them at once such as author, subject, or color. This can be especially helpful when differentiating my comments from someone else's on a drawing. These buttons up here allow you to do different things with your markups list. You can expand or collapse all categories you're sorting by. You can move up and down the list of markups with these arrows. You can set certain filters for the viewed list of markups by using this button. It will turn on a drop-down menu for each column header where you can choose how to filter the markups. The markups that don't fit into the categories that you choose will be filtered out and won't show up in the list anymore. Those markups filtered out of the list will also be grayed out or dimmed on your PDF. To clear all filters that have been set, click this Clear Filters button. To completely hide all markups, both in the list and on the PDF, click this button. Here you can choose which columns to view. And here you can manage all of your columns, both preset columns and user-defined or custom columns. The user, that's you, can create his or her own columns here. You can create an RFI column, for example, or even more advanced columns to be used for calculations. Here you can name the column and select a type from this list. Depending on which type of column you choose, you will have options here to modify your column. Some of them give you the option of setting a default for that column. I highly recommend that you watch the Custom Columns video to get a better grasp of all that this feature has to offer. In our new 8.0 version, these custom columns can even help you quickly and easily calculate measurements and totals from your PDF. You can also delete markups, reply to markups,
change the status of a markup. check or uncheck markups, or clear check marks from all your markups, search through markups, import or export markups. This can be helpful if you are sending comments on a drawing, but the entire PDF would be too large to send, or if you are receiving comments from several sources and would like to consolidate them all to one PDF so you can view them all at once. To export, click this button and your markups will all be saved together in a BAX file, which is a file unique to Bluebeam software. To import markups, click the import button and from here you can choose either a BAX file or another PDF with markups, and those markups will be imported into the PDF. You also have the option of creating summaries of your markups list through this drop-down menu. These summaries will allow your markups list to be opened in different programs. To create a CSV summary that can be opened and formatted in Microsoft Excel, go to Summary, CSV Summary. Here you will have some options on how you want to save the summary, which pages of markups to save, whether to exclude certain markups, and whether to include column headers in the file. You can also choose whether or not to open the file automatically after it is created. Now click OK and you can choose a file to save it into. Make sure to name the file and then click Save. Here you can see that all the markups from my PDF have been exported to this CSV file that I can format to fit my needs. To create a PDF summary, go to Summary, PDF Summary. Here again, you can choose the page range and the other summary options. You can also choose to append the PDF summary to the current PDF and include hyperlinks from the summary items to the markups on the page. You can include page content and totals in the summary as well. Change the title of the summary here and the preview size page size, and page orientation. After you've finished modifying these settings, click OK. The PDF summary will then open. If you chose Append to Current PDF, then the summary will be attached to the end of that PDF, as you can see here when I open the Thumbnails panel. Make sure to click Save so that your PDF summary is saved to the PDF. You can see here that the title we chose just a moment ago appears at the beginning of the summary. All information that was in the markups list is here. The comment is over here. These headings and the order of the markups depend on how the markups were sorted when I created the summary. Because we checked the hyperlink box before, we can click the markup preview and it will jump to that markups location on the PDF. And that is all I have for you today. Now you know how to use the markups list to track, sort, filter, and create summaries of your markups. Thanks for watching, and go get them, Bluebeamers! For more tutorial videos, visit our website at www.bluebeam.com videos.